Hi, my name is Tyler England and I'm an associate engineer here at Future Designs Incorporated in Huntsville, Alabama. Today I'm really excited to be showing you the DK S7 G2 development kit from Renesis. This is a kit uh, focusing on the Synergy S7 G2 microcontroller. All right, inside the box, first thing you see is the quick start guide for the DK S7. Uh, this is a guide that gets you up and running as fast as possible with one of Renesis's uh, demos uh, that you can load on the board using J-Link. Pretty easy to do. We've already done one. I'll get to show you that a little bit later. Uh, inside, oh, what is this? This is a SIG SOM S7 G2 module from FDI. How'd that get in there? Okay. Moving on. Get rid of this foam. Here it is. This is the DK S7 G2 Synergy uh, beta platform board from Renesis. So you can see right here in the middle, there's our Synergy S7 G2 processor, uh, microcontroller. And uh, I mean, it's, it's not a very big one because we're using the BGA224 package. Uh, I like that. It's clean looking. There's no exposed pins there. All the pins are actually brought out on these rows. Uh, these are the I.O. pins for the microcontroller, so it's a lot easier to get to those pins instead of having to clamp or resolder. Uh, it makes for a really easy development platform. You see there's a lot of connectivity options on the board. Uh, this is the main board on top, and then below it is the breakout board. Also in the box, we have a detachable 4.3 inch WQVGA TFT LCD. Uh, this goes onto the board. And also included is a 5 volt 2 amp power supply, a USB to micro USB cable you can use for J Link debugging, a flat ribbon Ethernet cable. Here we have the QV7670 detachable camera that goes along with the breakout board. Uh, that's a really cool thing to include in this. Uh, you know, having a camera package along with uh, the development board really opens up your options when you're developing on this platform. And of course, what box would be complete without a uh, multi-region power adapter? All right, let's move the box out of the way and show you the real meat of everything here. I'm going to put it all together for you so you can see the whole package. Pretty easy to put together. Uh, it's a really sturdy board. I really like that. Uh, you don't have to worry about things breaking. They didn't use cheap materials. It's actually really high quality. And there's the whole thing assembled. So, of course, this is a development board. Uh, that brings all your signals out. Everything's really easy to get to and see. Uh, there is no hunting. There's a lot of options on the board. So we're going to go around the board and I'll show you all the different connectivity options. So, uh, here you see four rows of I.O. pins that connect directly to the microcontroller. That brings all of your input-output options onto the board, brings them up. They're already populated headers. So you can make your own cables. It's flexible. Whatever you choose to develop for, you can bring them out to these rows and bring them off the board. On the top of the board, we've got our 5-volt power supply, one Ethernet connector on the main board, the USB Type A, two micro USBs, one of them is connected to the J-Link on board, a PMOD 12-pin connector that has a selectable voltage between 3.3 and 5 volts, and then on the breakout board is also included a, another Ethernet connector right here. So that, bring, that gives you two Ethernet connect options, one USB Type A and two micro USB connectors on the top of the board. Uh, that's a lot of options. There's a lot of connectivity here to go from between breakout board and main board. There's a lot of ways to get information on and off this board during development. Turning to the side of the board, you've got three more PMOD connectors here, here, and here. These are all selectable voltage PMOD connectors. They're all 12 pin, so you can go between 3.3 volt, 5 volt, 3.3 volt. Uh, gives you a lot of options to add peripherals to your development kit during the process. On this side of the board, you see we have our 4.3 inch TFT LCD display. This is a resistive touch display. All of our signals have drop vias right here, really easy to get to. Uh, that's really nice when you're doing signal work and you have, oh, this is you know a little funny, this is a little weird, what's going on here? You hook up an oscilloscope right here, very simple process. Uh, I've done it a lot, I like it, I like that it's right here, you don't have to do any cable cutting or make your own cables or anything like that, it's just right there on the board. Uh, here's the cam connector, these are screw-in cam connectors, so get a really nice tight connection. It has an adjustable potentiometer on board as well, 
Uh, it's really nice for bringing the voltage up and down. And what board would be uh, complete without Bluetooth Low Energy 4.0? This is a really cool feature that's included on this board. It's something we're really excited to develop with. Uh, Bluetooth Low Energy has a lot of exciting possibilities, and I'm really glad that it's included along with the S7 G2. Uh, so not only do you get a new platform to develop on, you get also the latest technology on the board as well. Also on the board, you'll see that we have headers for power. There's a battery header, an MCU header, and an analog 3.3 volt header. Uh, I'll highlight that in another video that shows power consumption and how to measure the power consumption for the Synergy S7 G2 microcontroller. Uh, but just know that it makes it really easy to attach to the board, see what's going on, not only with your whole board power, but you can isolate just the microcontroller and really get to see how low energy the S7 is. So now I'm going to show off the uh, blinky demonstration that we've loaded onto this board. So I've got my 5 volt 2 amp power connector here. Uh, this board has no modifications on it. This is not the one we did our power consumption uh, measurements on. That one we removed some shunt resistors. So this is a stock dks 7 g 2 board. We'll plug it in. And you can see here, that's, this is our uh, LED lights that come on when the board is powered. So this is a status LED. Here is the blinky demonstration going on. You see the blinking at a steady rate. That is something we've loaded onto the board using the J-Link onboard debugger. Uh, that's using this port here. The LEDs blinking are actually two LEDs. There's one green and one red. We have them blinking at the same time, giving you that orange color. Uh, we could do just green or just red. We could also make the other LEDs blink if we wanted to. This is just a basic demonstration showing off some of the J-Link onboard debugging capabilities. Uh, it is one of Renesis's demonstrations that's available to us through the beta program. There will be more demonstrations. Uh, there's also a low power consumption demo that we've loaded onto the board that I'll show you in the other uh, MCU power consumption video. So for more information on the DK S7 G2, feel free to visit Renesis' website. I really want to thank them for letting me uh, look at this board, develop on this board, not only the software side but the hardware side. I'm more of a hardware guy, so it's really exciting to see what they've done on this board. Uh, everything from the way they've routed things to where they've placed their components. I really enjoyed getting to look over this entire board. For Future Designs in Huntsville, Alabama, I'm Tyler England. Thanks for watching.